Hello, hi, and welcome back. So today I'm doing the Not So Berry Challenge, and today is a very exciting episode, I guess, because we have a birthday and a wedding. Without much else to say, I'm just gonna get right into it because we've got a lot that we need to cover. I did record the last episode in, oh god, this one's stinky over here. Um, I did record the last episode. Unfortunately, nothing really happened. I'm not sure I really want to make it into a whole part because, like I said, nothing happened happened so i just decided you know i'll probably just scrap the last episode but basically before that even before that yuna did give birth to poppy berry and now today it is cherry's birthday we're gonna have the birthday party today and then tomorrow is going to be yuna and orion's wedding oh uh, <laughs> what <laughs> see you know what i knew that there was something there i could i could sense the um sexual tension unfortunately i just don't think orion feels that way about chandler so we're gonna go ahead and say no to that <laughs> Oh yeah, another thing was that Marcus aged up. Marcus, like our best friend Marcus, like the best Marcus. I'm so sad because that means he's probably going to die before Yuna even is an elder. <laughs> I should have made family for Yuna, but I just, I didn't really think about it. So anyway, this is Poppy and I can't really see her that well even at this stage, but um, she's cute. She actually has Orion's eye color, whereas uh, Cherry has Yuna's eye color, which I think is really adorable. Where did the cake go? Up there. Yep, I knew it. All these dishes that have just been collecting up here. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then Yuna's like, I can't reach it. Even though I put it up there, I can't reach that. So here's Poppy. For some reason, she's like always making a sad face. I, I really don't know what her deal is. Um, I was explaining in the last episode that they're probably going to have one more child and it's probably not gonna happen until both of them reach adulthood which they're both gonna reach adulthood next week orion's birthday is actually the day after their wedding and then yuna's birthday is the following saturday what is this guy doing here we didn't even we didn't even let him in the house what <laughs> all right so it's 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 not gonna be like anything terribly special we're just doing a birthday party for a kid we did invite her to the party and no one's showing up ah luna no there are people coming over stop i i guess it's i guess it's a dud i guess they don't want to come um this girl just wants to play violin outside their house oh look chandler came oh you know what he's he's a good friend he's a good friend even though he's annoying and i can't stand him sometimes at least he shows up <laughs> it's like this dude just cannot resist the urge to show up at a party like maybe he wasn't the best pick for yuna but he will make someone else very happy one day <laughs> my gosh this woman just will not leave go home what do you like what do you even do at a birthday party <laughs> what do you even do at a, at a kid's birthday party i really don't know okay awesome awesome we are aging her up hopefully that chin goes away in childhood that chin is looking interesting all right so she is part of the rose generation and she's probably going to be the heir just because she's the oldest one i don't think i'm always going to do it like that where i'm having like the oldest one be the heir hot-headed snob and romantic so oof her only trait being hot-headed <laughs> okay so i guess she's just gonna have to be a hot-headed kid in the rose generation the heir does go on to be a politician so maybe she can be a social butterfly because you know i associate politics with you know being able to talk to people oh honey we are gonna have to change you <laughs> all right i fixed her and honestly yuna and orion make freaking adorable children first lesson girl you okay <laughs> what happened honestly orion is like dad of the year i love him so much he's just like such a natural dad and i love that about him because i don't have to prompt him to do anything really with these kids he just does it and i've never really had a sim do that before usually i have to tell them to do stuff with their children so anyway now i am going to be focusing on yuna and orion's wedding and then after that i kind of want to be able to figure out how to get a voodoo doll i've never dealt with a voodoo doll before I don't think that you can just buy them. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of everyone's need and I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to the wedding day because I don't think anything important is gonna happen before then anyway. What the f I, Okay, I've never had this happen. Maybe because I really don't play with kids, but um, yeah, what the hell? What is going on here? And now Yuna's pissed because the kid woke her up and she's missing a hand. 
Alright, so the whole family is relatively taken care of, which means I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up for the wedding. Oh my god, girl, I don't- <laughs> I know you did not show up to my wedding wearing the same thing as me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this is a really nice wedding venue that I found on the gallery. It's called Elegant Wedding Venue, I think? Anyways, like I said, I cannot believe this bitch had the audacity <laughs> <laughs> the same dress as me on my wedding. Can I tell her to change? But you know what? At least Chandler's here. At least he's always here supporting his favorite person in the whole wide world, Orion. Cherry has gained a new- what, what is she doing on social media? She's like seven years old. Okay. Oh, how sweet. Okay, so they're married. You can now have your married sims move in to get- Yeah, they're already living together. Oh, you showed up late. All right, well, now we get to mess around with the best part, which is cake. Yay, more cake. I'm glad everyone's just enjoying endless drinks at the bar, including people that I did not even invite to my wedding. Um, I guess I'm just gonna have to have Yuna make her own cake. <laughs> have you been gossiping about me? Is that true? Girl, it is my wedding. Go away. Poppy can talk now. Oh, how cute. I love that for her. I can't believe it is my wedding and I'm having to make my own wedding cake. <laughs> oh look, Marcus came. Oh yay, I love him so much. Like he wasn't even invited and you know what? He showed up anyway. <laughs> you know, I feel like this is not a wedding cake, but we're gonna make do with it. Okay, well, um, we're just uh, gonna make do with this. Let's cut the wedding cake. Oh, I guess that that's all we do for cutting the wedding cake. <laughs> oh, but everyone's really happy and celebrating. How cute. This guy is about to OD at my wedding. Anyways, it seems like we had a pretty successful wedding. Everything went according to plan somewhat. Who is this woman that's being furious with my child? She was not invited. Excuse me, ma'am. Go home. Oh, how sweet. Marcus is doing push-ups at my wedding. I love that. Poor Chandler is very upset about the one who got away. Oh, Ryan. Oh, her babies are so cute. I love them so much. I can't wait to have another one. Hopefully we have a boy next time. I'm really holding out for a boy, but you know what? If we're meant to be a girl family, that's okay too. And you know what? I'm super glad that all of his sisters decided to stay at the wedding this time instead of leaving, er leaving early. Oh, is this the, the wedding singer that I hired? Is that, is that him? Really? Oh, okay. Oh boy, honey. Oh my god. This is not even our house. Oh my gosh. Oh, Ryan, you better come do something. Oh no, he's drunk. <laughs> Anyways, the wedding is just about over, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here, and in the next episode, hopefully I'm able to get Yuna a promotion, and I'm gonna also play a little bit off camera just to see if I can get more of her aspiration done, and maybe see if I can find something that would include the last element. You know, the elemental collection hasn't been like a huge deal for me so if that's off camera I, I don't if, if that's done off camera I don't think that's gonna be like a huge deal I don't think it's gonna be totally devastating anyways thank you so much for watching and I will for sure see you in the next episode and uh, yeah it'll probably be a bit of a time skip um which means Orion might be an adult the next time you see him so there's that all right thank you so much for watching bye